Hey, what's up YouTube, MacGyver7 here. Today I'm gonna go over how to update your IPTV links that you may have gotten for the month of April. As you know, right now it's May and the links actually expire at the end of every month. So the idea is that you put the link in for that month and then you come on back to my channel and I will post a either a new link or a video how to update to that new link for that next month, right? So this is by far the best way to get live TV working on your Fire TV device. As you know, there are live TV apps, but they are very, very unreliable um, as it is very hard to maintain um, live streams and things like that because they always go up and go down. Um, the links that I share pretty much work throughout the entire month. Um, they're pretty reliable. There are a few glitches and there are some links that go up and down as well. But for the most part, this is probably the best way to actually get live TV working on your Fire TV device through an IPTV player um, versus using one of the live TV apps or if you're not using uh, a website that has live TV channels. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first IPTV app we're gonna start with is Perfect Player. Everything that I show you guys in this video is found in my file link store. I have a link in the description of how to actually get the file link store installed on your Fire TV device and also how to actually put in that code and go ahead and go into my file link store, all right? So this is called Perfect Player. Perfect Player, again, has been around for quite some time. If you've already used it and you notice that you've gotten this notification at the top right left corner, it says, please update your URL. All you're gonna simply do is you're gonna go into the main menu options. So you'll click on main menu. In order to get here, you click on that button on your Fire TV remote with the three horizontal lines. Then you're gonna click main menu. Now, up here, you're gonna go all the way over to settings. And once you click settings, you'll click on general. And then you're going to go down to playlist one. Okay, so this is the playlist from last month, the month of April. We're now in May. So all you're simply going to do is change this number two to the number three. And if you're new to this and this is your first time, what you'll simply do is you're going to follow the same steps I just showed you, except for you're going to type in this link that you see here on the screen. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to erase this two real quick and change it to a three. So if you're brand new, you'll type in bit.ly forward slash 123HDD3, okay? Once you do that, you'll hit next. Make sure M3U is selected. Underneath here is where you can actually label your playlist, whatever you want. I just put TV, you could put whatever you want there. You could put live TV, you could put um, television. It's all up to you, what you wanna put there. Um, I just put TV to make it nice and easy. And then I click, go down here and click okay. Now I am all set up, so I'll go back, hit back again. My playlist should update. And if there's an error, you won't get the screen here. It won't update and it'll let you know you need to re-enter your playlist, but it'll simply go through the update process and you should have about upwards of 2000 plus channels. There you go, 2,863 channels. You're all set to go for the month of May. Again, these links last per month. So you get about 30 days on these links and the next thing you know, you have to update to the next one. Um, it could be a little tiresome. I know some people are like, I don't want to update, but hey, it's free and who cares if you have to wait or if you have to just do this once every month to make sure you have live TV. So for me, it's a no brainer. It takes less than, as you can see, less than two minutes to get this thing working up again. So um, definitely go ahead and check this out. And this is called Perfect Player. Um, so the next app we're gonna look at is called TV Mate. All right, so I'm gonna back out here. I'm gonna exit the app. All right, so now it's going over to TV Mate. TV Mate is also my filing store. It is another uh, type of IPTV player that is very good. A lot of IPTV resellers and things like that um, actually use this a lot because it does have a channel guide. Um, unfortunately, the links that I shared do not come with the channel guide. Uh, you will have to just refer to like tvguide.com or something like that to actually go ahead and find out what's on that channel. Um, so that's one of the caveats with using these links. There's no TV guide, but at the same time, it is free, okay? So to update this one, you're gonna do the same thing, except for you're gonna scroll to the left, okay? So you may see this right here. If you've already downloaded it, TV Mate and installed the previous uh, link from last month. You'll notice that it says, please update your URL. It is expired. It's pretty easy to do. So you're gonna simply go to, over to the left, click on settings, and you're gonna click on playlist, and you're gonna click on your old playlist, which is right here, 123HDD. If you changed it to a different name, like for yours, playlist is like live TV or something like that. You just click on the playlist that you had existing, and it's gonna go down here to where it says playlist URL, okay? Now again, 
you may not see 123HDD2 when you get here because you may have named your playlist something else. So whatever name your playlist was, you click there. Um, so you go here and click on playlist URL. And then you're simply going to click on enter URL and you're going to simply go up here. And you're going to erase that two and change it to a three. Now, moving forward, um, as you follow my channel, what I'm going to try to do, make sure I can do as long as I'm able to do it, is simply update the number by one. OK, so next month will be HDD four. OK, so kind of make it easy for you guys, just in case like your link is expires and you need to have life to be working right, right away. Or if you're just kind of in a bind, you really want to watch something or if you're a reseller of these fire sticks and things like that and you just want to have it up and running so you can show uh, some of your customers. Well, what I'm going to simply do is I'll go through as soon as the link drops and change it to HDDD4. So that way you don't have to wait for me to upload a video and things like that if you're trying to get it done quickly or um, it just kind of makes things a little bit easier as well. If you're following along, um, you don't have to actually go through and retype everything all over again. So I'll definitely do that for you guys. And again, I thank you guys for your support as well. So once you do that, you click next, click next again. If you get an error, it will let you know here. If it says playlist is processed, that means you've done it and you have your channel account, which is 2,866. You click done and then you'll back out here and you're good to go now if you're brand new to this app um the settings icon will be on your screen as you load it up and you'll just simply follow through the same steps i'm going to go back here just real quick for those of you who are new and i'm going to hear the playlist i'm going to go to add playlist just so you can see what it looks like so when you're just now getting into the app if you're brand new to this tv main app you'll have this screen you have this screen here after you click through um the beginning settings when you get here, this is when you'll click enter URL, you'll type in the URL here. Um, and then from there, you will go ahead and press next and then install the playlist. OK, so it's pretty easy to do. It's not hard to do at all. OK, um, if you're an existing user, again, you just simply go through and change the URL from HDD2 to HDD3. OK, and you know what? Let me just go ahead and show you guys who are brand new just so that just to be fair, because I know a lot of times there's always somebody new coming in checking out the channel so I'll go ahead and show you guys real quick all right so i already typed in the link here you're going to type it in just like i'm typing it in here and look for my forward slash okay and it's simply one two three h d d three now everything is case sensitive uh, it must all be capitalized and it must be typed in the way you see it here on the screen i will also have a link in the description and this link here as well type correctly so that you can actually refer back to the description just in case the video went by too fast or if you're not able to follow along things like that i'll have it all in the description so do not worry okay so i'm click next all right next again now it's going to give you a playlist name. This is basically where you can go in and click here. If you want to change the playlist name, you can. If not, you can leave it just like it is. Um, and it usually takes like the last seven letters or digits and things like that from the link that you've used. But you can go again, go in there and change it to whatever you want. Once you're done and you have a playlist name the way you want, you simply go over here to done. All right. And you click done and you're now good to go. OK, now I have duplicate playlist here. Of course, I would go back and delete one of them. But I was just showing you guys, if you are new, what to do to set up your live TV playlist. All right. So that's pretty much it as far as the IPTV link goes for the month of May. Again, these links will expire uh, within 30 days. So by the end of this month, you will need a new link. I will try to make sure to keep the numbers kind of um, increasing by one. So it should be an HDD four. If something changes, I'll let you guys know. Um, but that's it, guys. Um, go ahead. And and check out these two IPTV player apps. Go ahead and put the links in both of them. Check them out. Enjoy live TV for free for the month of May. Uh, again, if you have any comments or questions, things like that, definitely hit me up in the comment section below. I thank you all for tuning in and watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Help me to build something, something big. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. And again, if you have any other input or if you found other links and things like that you would like to share, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And lastly, for those of you who are trying to always stay up to date and things like that, definitely check out my Facebook page. Uh, it's facebook.com slash MacGyver7. Usually on my Facebook page, I'll post something before I will post it here. So if you're trying to get the latest news or if you want to kind of message me directly, uh, definitely hit me up in, on the Facebook page as well. But that's all I got for you guys today, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.